good. Let's bounce on over and do this. Uh, money movement wise, I didn't see anything. The big news, of course, was the uh, complete unpegging in Iraq. So we saw the dropping in value, which was to be expected. That was one of the signs I was told to watch for. You know, 15 years ago, I was told to watch for that one before we start moving up. So I'm really personally pretty excited about that change in value. Um, on the UK front, guys, and the new strain has been found in Italy and a handful of other European countries already. Uh, 19 different genomic changes um, as it moved from one host to the other. <clears throat> Will the vaccine that everybody's rushing off to take still be effective? Great question. Probably not as effective, right? Do your own research. Make up your own mind. Uh, but that one is big. They're expecting the Dow Jones to take a 500-point hit today, uh, even with COVID relief, excuse me, uh, stimulus, which at this point looks like $325 billion is going to small businesses. When I say it's going to small business, it is the uh, Paycheck Protection Plan, PPP. It is so that they can continue to pay employees, even though they do not have the revenue. So that was marked for Paytech Paycheck protection, which I think is an important piece in this one, or you'll end up with more people on employment. Unemployment was extended for 11 more weeks and retroactive for those that have recently lost it. That's $300 a week federal. Um, $166 billion is what actually is going to the $600 bucks a person. Um, and for low-income families, that is also for your minorities and children. Eyelash in there, guys. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, what was the figure? I, I made notes somewhere. Ah, $82 billion for schools uh, to help with budget shortfalls from states specifically for schools. $69 billion, though, goes to vaccines, testing, and tracing as they try to trace who all you talk to, when you don't talk to, where you want, etc. Uh, yeah, 600 bucks. I mean, that, what, what a utter slap in the face, guys. 82% of Americans can't afford a $500 hiccup in their bills. They suddenly go to get that car inspected this, uh, this month, needs new tires, they're screwed. Uh, meaning they're going to be driving illegally, then they get a ticket, and then they get course costs, and it just starts a downward spiral. We're in the middle of that downward spiral right now, and it is ugly. Uh, the reality is the Fed's not going to be able to control inflation. We've already hit this spiral or death spiral of our fiat, and they're not willing to make the uh, moves to uh, correct it. That is why I am more and more convinced we will see our reset very, very soon because it's now untenable for them. They can't do anything with it. Um, what else in the news? Much of China now, uh, and especially in their manufacturing provinces, are having to ration electricity because China decided to get in a fight with Australia and are no longer going to get their coal from Australia. Uh, well, Australia gets the last laugh because at least their electricity works 24 hours a day, unlike in China right now. China is coming unglued at the seams after record flooding, tens, hundreds of thousands of people missing. It is ugly in China right now. The CCP is desperately trying to hang on. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I shared a great one. Uh, well, let's, let's get over here because we didn't see any money movement. We've not seen Prosperity or CMKX. Uh, <clears throat> but we do have a great week to watch. It only took about a week or so when they unpegged the uh, uh, Kuwaiti dinar before we started seeing moving values. So I think this week is going to be a big one for us as we watch it play out. We should at least have a great idea of what our real timing is. Let's get over to this one. Let's get back to this one. Um, Steve shared a great Soros video, video, and it is an old one, an oldie but a goldie. You folks often ask, what can we do, what can we do, how can we help? Um, disclosure is so important. Um, now let me see if I can go in here and find that video again. Ah, here it is. Making certain family members and friends watch stuff like this so that they know just how deep the deep state is and who the players are. This is one of the most important things we can do. You will enjoy that one. That's that's mainstream media report on Soros, how they uh, so conveniently forget things. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Also, Lou Dobbs, breaking news. 
uh, this one was a pretty good one too over the weekend um, for those that care to watch. Uh, talking about all kinds of things.